What's up, my candy crew? Toy Insanity back with some more candy and sanity. Happy National Licorice Day. You like this stuff? You probably like this stuff, but do you like this stuff? Okay. We're going to talk about the history of licorice, the history of Candyland, the board game, and we're going to eat some Twizzlers. Currently, at the Dollar Tree, you can get two flavors of Twizzlers. Licorice. One, of course, is licorice. Flavored. And the other is strawberry. Everybody likes strawberry. But who in the world actually likes licorice, flavored licorice? Or what do you like? Here. And I probably could have wrote candy insanity or toy insanity, but I wanted you to know that I'm not faking this. I'm actually going to taste. Oh, gosh. The smell just hit my nose holes. Oh, yeah. He's out of here. He's out of here. This is real... Licorice, a.k.a. black licorice, because this is fake strawberry. Delightful, tasty Twizzlers. You currently can't get grape or, I don't know, orange. I guess I could do it now. Do I want to? You're just delaying. 20 seconds, you're delaying eating that stuff. Also, I found it interesting that... One pack, one Dollar Tree pack, was, was the word insanity plus a hashtag. Nothing extra. Insanity dog! <sighs> let's, see if, let's see if a dog will eat this. He got it. He got it in his mouth. Okay, well, here it goes. I, um, um, it's not the worst thing. I would never, like, voluntarily... Here's the point. If I wasn't doing this insanity calendar project, Funko Insanity, Toy Insanity, Candy Insanity, and such, I would not ever eat this. If I was trick-or-treating and someone threw that stuff in my bucket, I would definitely give it away. But it's not vomit inducing. It's not clamato. It's not tuna. It's not spinach. It's not mayonnaise, mustard, any of that can. Anyway, so back in the 1940s, what do you want to hear first? The history of licorice or the history of Candyland? Because I'm telling you, I've never played Candyland, but it sounds like an exciting game. Who does not want to travel through? Look, my dude, my dog. I probably should have looked up. Okay, that should be it, my dude, because I, I don't know if that's... Does licorice have a tendency to make dogs sick? I don't, I don't want them to be sick. I'll be in big trouble with Mama GF insanity. So, yeah, in the 40s, people were dying of polio. And this lady named Eleanor Abbott... She used to make up children's games that the children dying of polio could play in the hospitals. And one of her games was Candyland. I've never played it. Apparently it's still around. You can traverse through the candy cane forest and the you know gumdrop mountain. It sounds fun, but it's, it's targeted at three to six year olds. And when I was three to six, my parents had me playing... Monopoly and uh, Trivial Pursuit. Yeah, okay. Not good, not great, but it's real. Hey, this stuff is delightful. Here you go. I'm going to share the good stuff with you. Do you prefer the nasty black licorice? We'll, we'll try to do a test. All right. So yeah, she sold the game in 1949 to Milton Bradley. Of course, was bought out by Hasbro, and you know the rest is history. Now, I feel like I want to pursue this set. First of all, I'm going to keep my eye out at thrift stores 
for the Candyland game. I want to check it out. Yes, I'm over six years old, but I want to check it out. Two. Also, I think I might end up getting this set. Mint, National Mint Day, uh, National Gumdrop Day, Frosting, Vanilla Day, King Candy. How have I never played this game? Of course, we have uh, Lord Licorice here, who I presume to be the villain of Candyland. I don't know. I, I, well, why would I necessarily presume that? You tell me. I should have looked it up. You tell me. What's the deal with Lord Licorice? Okay. But Licorice itself goes all the way back. We're talking all the way back to the 1200s. Okay. It's a shrub. It grows native in the Mediterranean regions. Oh my gosh. This is not. This is not. Strawberries were that. I can't believe I've been even eating this stuff. Totally twisted. I didn't look up anything on Twisted Company either. Yo. Oh, my Hershey. Because I was today years old when I found out about how old Candyland Game is. And also, I researched Licorice. National Licorice Day. Today. April 12th. Alright. Mediterranean regions. They had it in civilizations of uh, Egypt, Greek, and Roman. But here's the thing. I was today years old. It's Sandy Dog. Come over here. Alright. I'm trying to get him to this side. And then we're going to try to see which one of these he would actually prefer. It's going to be Right, whichever one he sees first. Oh, he went with the black. He went with the black. I'm trying to make sure he sniffs them both. Oh, he's going for both. Oh, he got the red. Dogs love licorice. Who knew? But listen, I don't want to make you sick. Candy is handy. National Licorice Day. Okay, this is what I just learned. I hate that whole category of food. Because you think you think these are similar. Anise, fennel, caraway, and licorice. It's the same flavor profile, but licorice is a herbaceously a totally different plant. It's a it's a shrub. These other things are herbs. I think honestly I can tolerate black licorice whips more than let's say some rice with a bunch of anise. Seeds in it. There goes Susan. All right. It's not terrible. It's close to terrible though. It's, it's not good. It's not good. Let me know in the comments if you really absolutely love this stuff. Somebody's keeping this company alive. I don't know. But you can look forward to 20 Insanity's Insanity Calendar. Much, much more this year. And hopefully, hashtag Funko Insanity. I, I, I think I'll end up getting the rest of those. I gotta get them on eBay. Retro Toys Line is pretty cool. Oh, yo, he's surrounded by bats and such. Atari Con 21. Hmm. Point Sanity, Candy Sanity, Funko Insanity, Insanity Calendar. We out.